St. Gregory the Great, whose memory the church, is, the church honors this day, was the first pope to have been a monk, a Benedictine monk. And St. Gregory loved being a monk. He loved the peace, the order, the tranquility of monastic life. And it was with a heavy heart, it was with reluctance, that he accepted the church's call first to serve as a legate or ambassador for the pope, and then when the church asked him to serve as the successor of Peter. It was with difficulty that St. Gregory answered this call. But he did so because he heard in his own heart the words addressed to the apostles in today's gospel. Put out into the deep. St. Gregory was comfortable being a monk. He would have been a wonderful monk. He probably would have been a saint had he stayed a monk. But the Lord had other plans for him. The Lord desired to call him deeper. And saying yes to the Lord's invitation to put out into the deeper, more dangerous waters, St. Gregory became great. He became one of the greatest popes in the history of the church, revitalizing the life of worship of the Christian people, reforming the clergy, and teaching the Catholic faith with clarity and zeal. We might feel comfortable in our current state of life. We might feel like we are where we're supposed to be. We're comfortable. But the Lord might be calling us to go deeper, as he called St. Gregory the Great. Perhaps he's calling us to step out of our comfort zone and into his mission zone, where he desires to do great things through us, to bear great fruit, and to bring in a catch greater, more beautiful than we could possibly imagine. Perhaps we've been sitting with a suspicion of a deeper vocation, a vocation to priesthood. Perhaps we're in a relationship and the Lord is calling us to marriage. Don't be afraid. Set out into the deep. That is where the Lord wants to reveal his strength to us, his greatness to us. May we, on this feast day of St. Gregory the Great, follow him into the deep waters, follow Christ, and let him make a great catch in our lives.